Hey, I'm Amanda Wood here with Cody Jones in the Swamp to wrap up this 23-20 to overtime loss to the South Carolina Gamecocks. Cody Treon Harris was 4 for 10, just 60 yards passing. We know that he had a pinky injury early in the game, but why was he not able to throw the ball as much? Yeah, they really didn't throw a whole lot to begin the game. You know, I think that obviously the South Carolina defensive line especially really struggled to stop the run in previous games. I'm sure that's something they saw on film that they really liked quite a bit. Uh, kind of went away from it, though, and it's kind of difficult for a quarterback to get in a rhythm when you're not doing that. So you saw him a little bit in, inaccurate, but even before the half, a really good throw to, to Demarcus Robinson on that touchdown pass. Um, a pretty good day for him all around, but then he's got the fumble. That, that's obviously going to be something that's kind of going to frustrate this coaching staff after the way the quarterback position has turned over the ball quite a bit throughout this year. Uh, that's going to be, a, I think, something they've got to fix going forward. But ultimately, I think when, when he got chances, he looked pretty good throwing the football, but just didn't get a whole lot of those, and they really leaned on him a little bit more in the running game, which I don't think was too expected until they saw some of the looks South Carolina was giving them, and they felt good doing that. And he, he had some pretty good success running the ball that way. Right, Treon Harris had 104 yards rushing. He led the run game for Florida. Matt Jones and Kelvin Taylor combined for only 110 yards. Cody, how was South Carolina's defense able to limit them? Yeah, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You look at the numbers. You know, the South Carolina defense has really been gashed by the run and, and frankly, just gashed by offense in general this season. They really have struggled. Looked like a completely different unit today. It's I think the bye week helped them quite a bit, just get a little bit uh, more fresh to get healthy, a little bit ex uh, extra there. So I think that help, has helped them out too. But this floor offensive line, I don't think, blocked too well late in the game. And that's kind of what it was. You know, you saw some of the bigger runs early where they looked fine. And, and South Carolina, more than anything, just kind of dominated the line of scrimmage, which coming into this game, I think, seemed extremely unlikely. So you got to give them a ton of credit for just their bye week preparation and the success they're able to have there. Right now, this loss takes Florida out of the running to get to Atlanta. Jabari Gorman was asked after the game, how do you pick yourself up from a, win from a loss like this, knowing that you can't get to Atlanta now? And he said, wow, that's a really good question. Cody, is Will Muschamp's job on the line again at this point? Yeah, I think it is. I, I don't. I mean, I think it kind of still was coming into this one. This is obviously probably lost. He probably couldn't make it through. I, I don't think anybody saw it like that. And, and now he's he's kind of he's having to deal with it a little bit. So there's going to have to be some pretty big decisions made from the administration here at Florida. Um, but ultimately, you look at this: if, if they were to win next week and get bowl eligible, still lose to Florida State, I think that makes them six and five. I can't imagine you keep your job six and five coming after a four and eight season. So this kind of felt like the end. Um, obviously, we won't know anything for sure. At least a couple days. Maybe they wait until the end of the season. But certainly doesn't feel good uh, for a Muschamp's chance is a stay in here and in next season. All right, well, we, we'll be on the watch for that. For now, keep it locked right here on FightingGators.com for all your Gator sports updates. For Cody Jones, I'm Amanda Wood.